of us the tournament. We Shopify Rebellion come up with their win against Team Liquid. We have a few pre-submitted questions. The first one's for Alexis from Snet Sports Kira. He says, in such a high-stakes match, not having your RGL on stage could at times affect the team's mental. How did your team push through that in today's series? Honestly, we just knew we had to do it for her. She's had our back the entire year, every day during practice, and we just kept our energy up 10 times as much to make up for the fact that she wasn't on stage with us. So we, we honestly just did it for her. We did it for mom. Okay, next couple questions from Ganesh at Strafe. The first one for Florissant, he says, you pop off in the, in the games your team played, you finished the grand finals with the highest skills in a best of five series and the highest skills on a single map. For being your debut tournament, you broke multiple records and had an insane impact. How does it feel to be a champion? It's nice. <laughs> Uh, the next one is for anyone who wants to answer. He congratulates on the win and says it's been a long time coming, especially for Mel and Alexis. Uh, but the game wasn't without its problems. Mel tested positive and had to miss out on playing on the stage. Did that impact the team's atmosphere at all? It impacted it, not being able to fist bump her and like feel her energy. But she was still there, like in comms with us, making sure we were doing the right thing. Like Mel is Mel, you know, she's always like on top of everything, even though she's super sick with COVID right now. Um, it definitely impacted us a little bit, but like I said, we brought up our energy as much as we possibly could to the max um, to make up for the fact that she wasn't there with us. Now for the press in the room. Good night, girls. Uh, congratulations for the win. My question is for Sarah. Uh, there were many eyes on Florissant, but you really shine on this final. I would like you to talk a little bit about your performance. Um. Really, I think I was just chilling. Like, I just trust my team so much. Um, I just love setting up floor. It makes me so happy watching her own. And I really want to do it for Mel, so. And Nicole, of course, on her birthday. So I'm just really glad we pulled it out. Uh, hi, guys. Congratulations on the victory. My name is Maria Eduardo I'm from IGN. And you had an even series until the last, the last map. And I want to know, what do you think uh, was your biggest advantage as a team towards Liquid in Ascent? Um, sorry, was the question for anyone? Yes. Okay. Um, I, I think we, in that series, it was extremely brawly and there was a lot of nerves for both team with the energy of the crowd and everything. I think the last map being Ascent, being a very map that's very well known and being like very normal and it's figured out pretty well, like our fundament fundamentals kind of shined on that one more than anything. It was not a map that was prepared or anything. It was literally just playing Grand Finals, Valorant, and just playing well as a team, honestly. That's all it is. Okay, now for our remote media, we have Pedro Romero from Blix. Hello, hello. Um, first off, massive congrats on winning the, the, the tournament to everyone. Um, I've been fortunate enough to talk to a few people within this room and also Mel as well. So to see you guys, in addition, to see you guys uh, manage to, to take the trophy, uh, it gives not just myself, but everyone else uh, a sense of pride. And so that said, th this question goes out to everyone um, in life, not just, not just in esports, to be honest, but a person's success isn't done by just that one person entirely. Um, in, in many factors, it's done by, it's done through the help of many other people that support them along the way, not just your teammates, but also either your 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 loved ones and your supporting staff and stuff like that. Um, that said, as you sit there with that title besides you, um, who within your inner circle, i.e., parents, past teammates, etc outside of the team, do you feel deserves this title just as much as you? And I ask this too for everyone to, to respond. I know you said outside of the team, but I really want to thank Leica. She Like this team would not exist without her. She does so fucking much for us. I was going to say the same thing. Thank you, Leica, for everything. But she is actually the GOAT. I love her so much. Plus thank one. you so much, Leica. <laughs> I also want to thank Leica. She's like my second mom, honestly. When we're traveling, she's actually like my second mom. But also, I want to thank my parents because I took a year off university to focus on this tournament specifically. And without their support, I wouldn't be able to do that. So that is really awesome. 
Ah, o Facundo from FT News. Uh, well, hi, my uh, first of all, congrats on <laughs> on being the champions. Uh, well, my question is for uh, for the coach. Uh, what's the best memory you have uh, about this whole week of the tournament? Can you repeat the question? I did not hear it. Sorry. Uh, what is the the most remarkable moment uh, you have during this whole week that you want to share? My favorite, okay, well, it's, it's definitely the win that we had today. I think it was nearly a perfect moment. I think it was a, not our finest hour of Valorant. I'm not going to lie. I think we played pretty scrappy. And the only thing that could have made it better is if Mel was there with us, because I think we all wanted this to win it with her. Uh, but aside from Mel not being there, I think it was a great moment in my life, yeah. Brandon from his Sports TG. Thank you. Well, I'll echo the sentiments. Congratulations on the huge win. I'll send this to Alexis. You know, ever since the, the days on uh, Magical, you and Mel have been together. Um, I'd just like to get some words from you on what it means to finally win a world championship with her, uh, as well as kind of the bittersweetness of her not being able to be, you know, on that stage to lift the trophy with you at the end. More than to hug Mel right now. Genuinely, I'm, I can't do that, and it sucks. Mel has been my best friend for the last seven years. We've played together for over three years now, and we win a championship. I can't even give her a hug. It sucks. But I love her so much. That is my ride or die best friend till the grave, honestly. Love her so much. Now our nap from the Spike GG. Hi, guys. Uh, congratulations on the win. Uh, I would like to ask this question to Coach uh, the game, The whole series has been neck and neck. Uh, uh, you guys won the first map, then to the great. So on. So how do you coming to the fifth match? How does it change on the mental, especially when man is on not on the stage, and uh, the team has such a high uh, high pressure scenario, and the fans rooting for team liquid. Sorry, the the sound is uh, very weird, and I cannot hear the question. Uh, uh, is I'm it, also is French, it so now? sometimes my English fails me. So I can't. Okay, someone sorry. Tell you. Is it better now? Your mic is kind of weird. Could you repeat the question, please? Yeah, my question was: uh, the whole series has been very close, uh, with each team winning each match. Uh, coming to the final series, uh, is it clear or no? Uh, my mic is okay. Hello. Hello. Okay, I'll fix. I'm sorry, I just cannot hear the question. Uh, yeah. Deeply sorry. Oh, okay. I'll I'll go to the next one and you fix the mic. Okay. Now, Cecilia from Esports Mag, please. Hello, everyone. My question is for Noya. Congratulations again on the win and happy belated birthday. Moving forward to the Game Changers next year, so 2024, what would you want Riot to tweak or change about the Game Changers overall or the championship tournament? I think the one thing I would change is we have a bigger crowd. I feel like there's a lot more desire for a bigger crowd. I feel like the tickets sell out instantly. I don't think it's that we don't have a fan base because I think we do. And I think that shows today, especially. So I think in the future, when we play lands, there should be a much bigger crowd. Thank you. Okay, just, to, just to add on, um, I want to say thank you to the Brazilian crowd for making such a, a small venue seem so huge. Like the energy they brought was incredible. I'm really grateful for that. Next question is from Sergio Fiorini at Correspondente Sportivo for Florence. He says, after becoming champion with such an incredible individual performance, how do you feel about being a role model for future players who want to enter the inclusive scene? Um, it's cool to think about. Uh, uh, it's nice. I guess. Sorry. Pedro Romero, you can go again. 
Yes, um, this question again, again goes out to everyone. Uh, it's involving the effect that Ephesus had towards your performance uh, both in and out of the server. And also, Ephesus, if you'd like to respond to this as well, I'd be appreciated. Um, how much of a help has he been in this team's journey uh, throughout this entire year going through all three GC series and this tournament as well? Most goaded coach ever. I'm not gonna lie. I don't. I, I can't even explain what he does during practice. But like everybody takes criticism from him. Well, all of his advice is really good. And honestly, he just hypes us up. Like he's just an insane coach. And especially during this tournament, he's been working like overtime, double overtime, trying to ante the teams that we're playing. And I can't thank him enough for that. Yeah, Effies is a uh, Effies is the goat. I mean, me, Sarah, and. Uh... Floor. We're all rec players, not really played on too many teams before, and somehow he managed to make us good. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Uh, honestly, it's also them listening to me a lot. Like, I nobody has egos on this team. Like, like people talk about, like, Floor having, like, I mean, Floor is obviously, like, the most skilled player I've ever seen, and probably you guys as well. But what people don't know is, like, players like Floor, Nicole, and Sarah, and, like, they have insane skill, but they also have no egos. Uh, they, I can literally tell them anything, and they will just take it and apply it next time. And that's the greatest quality I can ask for for all my players. So the skill is great, but the no ego part is 10 times better. We actually have a question from the press in the room. Hi, I am Gabriel from, from Global. Um, my question is for Noya. Um, what was the feeling of being the champions here in Brazil? You received the Brazilian um, crowd support even after beating a Brazilian team in the final. So what did it mean to you? I mean, in the first place, I wasn't even expecting to have support from the Brazilian crowd. But then during our games, I heard them like screaming my name and it was great. And just sitting there in a moment and being like, holy shit. People are cheering my name. Um, but winning today probably, I mean, it meant the world to me. And they sang me happy birthday after, and it was it was great. Uh, Arneb actually typed out the question. His question is for, I guess, anyone who wants to answer. He says, the whole series has been neck to neck for both teams. How does the team manage to perform in such a high performance scenario? Do you guys have any performance coach or something to help? fact that we're very close and like we're all friends and I think it's much easier to perform when you don't feel pressure from within the team and just from outside of it and that's definitely the environment on this team I don't think anybody on this team feels pressured by their teammates we're all very close we're all friends so that's I think that's what helped us push through okay you have another question from the room Congratulations. Uh, my question goes to the head coach. Uh, je vais uh, demander en français de nouveau. Uh, félicitations. Uh, je voulais savoir uh, comment c'était le parcours uh, vers les titres. Yeah, I'll answer in English this time. I choked last time. Um, <laughs> actually, it was really hard. I'm not, I mean, it seemed easy because in, online in North America, we kind of dominated, uh, but it was really a rough year. Uh, I think we there was so many unlucky things that happened, especially with Nicole. Uh, none of it is her fault, but like we couldn't practice for nearly half the year, or like at least four months, uh, where we just had no practice and we just had to go in like tournaments, hoping for the best. So it's really hard, but yeah, it was a difficult year, and I like the players have grown so much from when we started. Uh, it, it's unbelievable how much growth they have, and like if things going keep going like this for the next few years, like it their the sky's the limit for them so it was a lot of work i'm sure more work than all of them i've ever put and myself included but it ultimately is just very reward, rewarding another question from Fabio from jinx uh hello everyone uh congratulations on the win uh, my question is for basically anyone can answer uh, you guys uh, banned bind and a split, um, and those were 
uh, the strongest maps for our team liquid so probably it was like a no brainer but we saw yesterday that they were insane on ascent and uh, they literally crushed g2 and uh, smg on that map after that performance what made you guys still let that map slip through in the map pool i mean before today i think we combined and lost like six rounds in a sense so i think we we're pretty confident in that map yeah like nicole said like i i Fully knew their, uh, we fully knew that their ascent was really good, but we all, like that's also the reason why they did not pick it first because they clearly saw that we were dominant on it, and I mean they looked very dominant on bind as well, so we didn't want to take that risk and we just trusted our strength more than the enemy strength. All right, congratulations again. No, our last couple of questions. Pedro Romero from Blix. Looking at the team's year as a whole, um, uh. And looking at the team's performance uh, within those tournaments, I remember a conversation that I had with you specifically, Effie's, about how you you were making an emphasis on competing the uh, on competing in co-ed tournaments, and you guys essentially done that. How much has that helped the team's performance throughout the year in the lead up to um, uh, the GC Championship? And and the and and the performance throughout the entire event, and also to add on on top of that, um, I remember also that you mentioned your appearance in Masters One in in Masters Two in 2021 as one of your highlights uh, of your career. With winning this title, does that is that number one now? I think. Well, for your first question. I think without the COVID events, we're not here right now. Uh, I think this is where we grew the most this year, by far. Uh, I think in NA and GC, we kind of stomped, and I don't think we learned that much like when we win 13-5 uh, and 13-4 every game. So we definitely learned more in, in co-ed than probably why we're champions today, I believe, is because we put that hard work. And for your second question, um, I, I think it's very different. Uh, I, I felt, I feel more like my heart, I feel like the qualification for Masters Reykjavik was very random. It was unexpected and it caught me by surprise and that made me very happy. Like it was spontaneous as opposed to this one. This one feels like just a year of grind just paid off and that feels more rewarding to me. So this one is probably better in my opinion. Cecilia from Sports Mag. Hi, once again, um, question for F is, any early talk with the org on keeping this roster together now, considering the win today? Sorry, can you can you repeat? I'm sorry, I did not understand the first part. Yeah, um, considering the win today, did you had like previously? Did you had any early talk with the organization on keeping this roster together for next year? The, I mean. There was never any plan to change roster. I feel like this team gets along very well and we're still improving. We're still in a phase where we improve. Uh, I don't see... A, there was never any talk about doing any... Like the, the whole point of Shopify signing us was always to keep the roster together. And that's one of the reasons why we went with them. Uh, they had no intention to interfere with the roster and they just wanted to let us do our thing, basically, which is why we love them. Thank you. Now for our last question, Arneb. Hi guys, uh, my question is for Efes. Uh, when you were given the responsibility to take over as a coach when you were in V1, uh, from a professional player role to coach sudden changes, from that time you took the opportunity to not till, uh, till today, uh, how you have been uh, evolved individually and how uh, looking back at the decision you took as a coach, how uh, is it that something you are proud of right now? Uh, it's definitely something I'm proud of. Uh, when I decided to switch to coaching, I had multiple offers. Well, yeah, and I can't. I, I every night I go, I go every every morning I wake up and I'm I'm just so grateful that I get to work with these amazing women because it's just such a nice environment to work with. Like it's so like chill and like not toxic compared to like most co-ed teams I've ever worked on, and I couldn't ask for better players to coach honestly. And I'm, I'm very grateful for myself. For taking this decision actually and uh yeah i uh i just it's a good decision for me and i have zero regrets to coach this team because even if we had lost today my mindset would be the same 
We actually have a little bit of time, so Cecilia, you can make your last question. Um, how do you guys plan on celebrating tonight? No comment. <laughs> Great, thank okay, you. Everyone, this, is, this is it for Shopify Rebellion. Congrats on the win, and see you all in the next tournament.